Hey everyone, I'm Grace and welcome back to Everyday Barbie. If you do end up enjoying this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We have a lot of fun here and it's all about dolls. All right, in today's video, it's gonna be a little bit different than what I normally do. Once upon a time, I used to make doll clothes and I think I'm starting to get into it again. Maybe, I don't really know. I don't really have time. I don't make the time. But today, I'm gonna take a look at some of my first projects that I made and fixing them up. I've got this bag of clothes. Some of them are actually store-bought and just have been very used. This was one of my first Barbie outfits. Anyway, I'm just gonna start by sorting out these clothes into different piles. So I'm not gonna have time to fix all of these today in this video, but I do have everything sorted out. I've got shirts, pants, couple dresses, and gymnastic suits. Back in the day, I was really into making my Barbies do gymnastics, so we've got some of those. <laughs> As you saw, that's a lot of clothes. We are not fixing all of them today. I'm just gonna pick five pieces to work on, and we're gonna transform them in this video. We're starting out with this red dress. So this dress actually doesn't have a whole lot wrong with it. I actually really like it. And Barbie wore it in for my thumbnail for my Christmas video, The Christmas Carol. And it looks great. And I really want her to wear it more, but just some of the things that have been bothering me about it is the rough edges, and there's some threads sticking out, and there are some holes. So I'm just going to go ahead and fix this dress up. One thing I'll be using a lot in this video is fabric glue. It's awesome for hemming things and it's easier. So that being said, we're going to be using it a lot. I'm just going to start first by sewing up these holes. Barbie can't have a hole in her dress. Saved. Now we just have to fix this edge. I'm not really sure what to do with this edge. I have a feeling if I use fabric glue, it might be a little crispy and then it'll be like not as flowy as it used to be. We're just gonna go with fabric glue. Okay, got the end all glued. Hopefully that works. We just gotta wait for it to dry. Now the top edge is drying. I just hope that it doesn't... S we'll just have to see how this turns out. For the next piece, I'm actually gonna pick this shirt. It's really sparkly and blue and it's cute, but the Superman logo is peeling off for some reason. And this is store-bought, what the heck? So I think, we're just gonna start by peeling it off entirely. Alrighty, so it actually came off. So funny enough, what I'm actually gonna do for this shirt, cause I think it still needs something on there. That's kind of boring without anything. Eh? I'm gonna see if my Barbie t-shirt maker works on this shirt. Could be fun. All right, I kinda do want it centered. So I've got the stickers here. I want one that kind of looks close to the Superman one. So do we do have the gem. Cherries. That's kind of cute right here. Decisions, decisions. You know what? I'm going with this one. It's small. I like the fact that it's small. Honestly, I really don't know. <laughs> here it goes. Oh, I love that. We've got to try it on Barbie. Barbie's sparkly blue shirt is fixed. I'm liking this way better than that. 
It's so cute. <laughs> Love how this one turned out. Barbie's red dress is all fixed up. No holes in it. Clean seams. Maybe she'll be wearing this again in my next Christmas video. I'm gonna count both of these as one. Now this outfit has a special place in my heart. It was one of the first fashion packs that I got. It came with two other outfits. And that was the same Christmas that I got my Barbie house. That's right, the same one that's in my everyday adventures. And like the house, this outfit has seen better days. And I don't really think Barbie's gonna be wearing this outfit, but I think it's worth a try to fix the Velcro up and see if we can revive this outfit. So I'm actually gonna start by washing these because they're really dirty and they've been around. So I'm just gonna start by washing them. All right, this outfit's all cleaned up. Pants were never really that dirty, uh, so they're looking spiffy. The shirt is looking pretty uh, worn out. Still has one of these little tabs in it. Like how many years has this been? Like, why haven't I cut that out yet? <laughs> First of all, I am cutting out this little tab. Where? Goodbye. Then I'm gonna get out my fuzz cutter and I'm gonna try and clean up these sleeves cause that's looking pretty gross. Now I have a bad reputation of making holes in things with this fuzz cutter. So we're gonna play it safe and start with the guard on. Okay, finished up. Unfortunately, I made a tiny hole. <laughs> Why? I think I can fix it with a little bit of fabric glue though, so no worries. No better. Anyway, besides that little mishap, it came out really good. It's no longer like, has a hue of brown on it. Even though I washed it, it still looked dirty. And I even used stain remover. The Velcro, I mean, something's gotta be done. I'm gonna see if I can replace it. So somehow, I'm gonna have to remove it from the clothes. So I'll try and use my thread ripper, but I don't know what's gonna have to happen. So it came off real great. Unfortunately, I went a little too far and started Removing the edge, so now I gotta sew that. All fixed. Now the other side. The Velcro is all removed. Unfortunately, the only kind of Velcro I have is sticky Velcro. Just not sure how well it'll stick. But first, I'll just trim it to size. So since I'm sticking on the Velcro, it seems to be sticking really well on this material. I do have to sew this down first because the other one was sewn to it. So I'm just gonna Put a couple stitches in that so that piece stays down. I think this top is pretty much fixed up. On to the pants. Really, the all I'm gonna do is actually just replace this side of the Velcro. It's completely ruined. Outfit revamp is done. Here is the fixed up outfit on Barbie. Barbie's definitely not gonna wear this in probably any of my videos, but for pajamas, they're super cute. But I mean, the low rise, like, I'm so glad they make high rise jeans for Barbie now. But this outfit just brings back so many memories. <laughs> I'm just so glad that we were able to revive this outfit for that reason alone. The next one I'm fixing, I don't even know what's going on here. So this is gonna take completely redoing. 
it's a mess. So I am going to start by taking the stitching out because there's nothing left to this thing. I'm actually going to cut off these sleeves because that neck hole is way too big. Make some sleeves. Maybe this will end up fitting Stacy. Probably. I'm just going to start by hemming the ends and the sleeves. I'm just placing it good side to good side and I'm gonna sew down here. Now that I have sewn up both sides and the top halfway, left the hole for the neck, this is not gonna fit Barbie. It does fit Stacy, and there actually is enough room, it's stretchy enough to the point where we can put Velcro on it. It's really cute. And she can wear a jacket over it. It's a cute little undershirt. Like I kind of how it looks cuffed here. We turn this ugly pink shirt into this. A shirt for Stacy. I think for the last thing I want to do for this shirt is I'm going to also use my Barbie t-shirt press and put a sticker on this shirt to kind of make it a little more exciting, you know? I'm going to go with just simple because sometimes that's best. It looks so cute. Here is Stacy's finished pink shirt. I'm really surprised that that scrap of pink fabric turned into this. I really love the flower. It, it really just adds a cute little flowery, sparkly touch. I don't know about you guys, but I find Stacy clothes really, really hard to find. So this will be good for her small collection. Last piece is this ugly little tank top. It's ugly. It's a wreck. There's barely any sleeves, and because of that, it makes it harder to fix the neckline. So I had this really kind of cute idea. I'm gonna add some short sleeves to it, but a different color, like black. And I thought this was so cute, because it was kind of reminding me of like, you know, like early 2000s, like those Hello Kitty shirts, you know, that two-tone, almost like you're wearing a shirt under it. Obviously, this is gonna be a little different, because it's not gonna be long sleeves. I thought it would be super cute. So I'm gonna give it a go and see how it works. Um, to start, I am gonna sew up the sides a little bit. Like, I don't even know what happened. Like, why didn't I finish sewing the sides? So I'm gonna do that now. Just gonna trim the edge a little bit. And then I just glued both of the edges down. So there's a clean seam inside. Next, I'm gonna sew on sleeves. Just have these two pieces of small uh, black fabric. Gonna line it up good side to good side. Then flipping it inside out, I'm gonna finish sewing the sleeve. And of course, I'm going to hem the edge with some fabric glue. And I'm just gonna continue sewing it the rest of the way. I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. Now I'm just gonna glue the neckline. And this shirt is done. So this shirt ended up fitting Skipper pretty perfectly. I'm not a huge fan of the neckline, but there wasn't much I could do about that. I am just going to put these kind of retro hearts on here. Ah, what happened? Oh well. And here is Skipper's new shirt. It probably needs some styling. It needs a little bit of help. So I'm going to add her pink hat and her new checkered fanny pack. That actually looks really cute. I am so happy with how these Barbie clothes turned out. 
Being completely honest, I don't love how CC's shirt is a little bit too short, and I'm not crazy about this neckline on Skipper's shirt, but couldn't really do anything about that, so overall, I'm super happy with how these turned out. I hope you guys were able to use some of these ideas to maybe fix up some of your clothes or make some of your own. If you did end up enjoying this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It really helps out my channel and I'd love for you to be a part of it. Give this video a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching. I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye!